Let's get to Bob Fazzani with today's ETF Edge. Hey, Bob. Hey, Scotty. Good to see you. After huge inflows last year in short-term Treasury and money market funds, 2024 is already seeing some change in investor sentiment towards bonds in general. So what's in and what's out in bond investing? Let's talk to the man who knows all the answers to that. David Botsett is the Schwab Asset Management's head of innovation and stewardship. Schwab is the fifth largest ETF provider with over $300 billion in assets. Thanks for joining us, David. So we were at the ETF conference last week. We were yeah. talking about this in Miami Beach 2023, all about short-term treasuries, money market funds. But things are changing in 2024. What's hot now and where should investors be positioning themselves for their bond portfolio? You know, what we're seeing is positioning more in the intermediate part of the curve. And in fact, you talked about short-term Alter short bond ETFs took in big flows last year. January of this year is the first month we've seen outflows. So inflows right now into intermediate terms. So intermediate to you is what, three to five years? Three somewhere? to five years, going out as long as 10 years in some cases. Okay, so what's seeing outflows right now? I know tips was really hot a year and a half or so ago, but inflation's going down. So Yes. Tips would not be as popular, right? I mean, what, what's not popular? Where, where are you right. seeing outflows? Tips is not popular, so we saw in the second half of last year, tip outflows significantly. Ultra short, as I mentioned, seeing outflows in the first part of this year as well. Yeah, and so corporate bonds now, we've had a huge rally at the end of 2023. Prices went up, yields went down, and they, the yields have been backing up a little in the last month or so. They, uh, they it's have. very interesting to watch that happen. Uh, but the corporate yields are, are great, 5.6%. Your intermediate term corporate yield, 5.6% right now, and 43 for treasuries. Can you make a case for why investors should be owning corporates with a higher yield over treasuries right now? Well, I think what we're seeing is exactly what you point to, that yield differential. You're seeing upwards of 100 basis points in incremental yield for very similar duration exposure. So what do we do now? I mean, what, do, what are you telling? You've got a huge portfolio of, of, of bonds. You've got over $30 billion. Uh, you know, in assets under management just there. What, what, are we, what are we dealing with right now? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of people and talking to a lot of people about extending the duration on the fixed income portion of their portfolio, getting that incremental yield from what they could potentially see short-term rates in the second half and of the year. And the reason you should not be so much in short-term and now in intermediate, just explain it to the viewers. Why should they be thinking about that? Well, because right now we're at a point where interest rates are more likely to come down than go up. We know that the Fed has kind of taken the, the, their foot off the accelerator of raising rates. So when you're in longer data duration and interest rates start to come down, you not only get the income, but the price appreciation.